My name is Jethro Sigers. I'm a member of the engineering team for Microsoft Teams and Education. In this, this demo, I'm actually going to show you how you can use Microsoft Teams to support your research that you're currently doing today. So Microsoft Teams is the hub for teamwork, for collaboration, communication, but also a single glass of paint where you can visualize all the applications that you use in your process. So let's take a look what the features look like and how you can use that to really make your research more productive and more efficient. So what do you see here is really the interface of Microsoft Teams. And on the left hand side, you actually have a number of buttons. So this is a part of the education set setup. So you're going to see there's some specific functionality that is really assigned to an education tenant. So the first one is your activity. And this really gives you an overview of all the tasks all the information that you need to be aware of. If you're being tagged in a conversation, this is for example where, you, where it's going to be appearing. The second part is really the first part of the communication, instant messaging. It's going to allow you to chat with your team members, but also with external people. So if you do research with external people out of your university, you can actually use that here to start that instant messaging. For example, here you see how Megan, the person that I'm logged into, is actually having a conversation with Nestor. And Nestor can actually communicate with uh, Megan both through instant messaging, but you can see that they also can increase it to an audio call and even a video call if they need to. They will work together on files. They can actually increase this with the applications that they like to use. The next tab that we're seeing is actually the teams that we're a part of. And if you're a part of a university, this could be the research projects that you're working on, but also the classes that you're a member of, both as a teaching assistant and maybe as a professor. So what you have here is really the conversations in that specific Teams, the files that are available that you're working on. Also notes, think about OneNote, this is exactly what is available here. You can customize your team by clicking on the plus. So you can actually extend your team with a number of applications that we provide out of the box. So here at the top, you see all the Microsoft applications going from a form to planner to even an integration with GitHub, for example. But we also have a full integration with non-Microsoft uh, applications. And these are applications created by software vendors certified for Microsoft Teams that you can use. So for example, if you want to use Trello, for example, or um, Formida, these are all applications that are available. You just click on it, you configure them, and they're available for you and your team. Here you have also the meetings that you have available to yourself. So here's where you can set up all the meetings. You can actually do online conversations. You can actually bring in external people here as well. What is really cool is that we have a number of features specifically to the meeting experience that you can use in your research. Think about a whiteboard. Think about note taking. Think about specific applications assigned to the meeting that you can use here. You can actually start conversations into the meeting and actually grow from there and add more functionality to it. I really want to go back to our teams and see that you have a number of subsections in every single team. Every subsection can be a phase in your research. For example, we have here the venture capital research. So you see that we have a general tab and when we go in here, you see that we have a full threaded conversation. So people who are new to the team can actually come in here and follow the conversation of everything that has been going on specifically around that research so you don't have to bring them back from an archive. Here's the part about the grant process. You have here the market analysis so you can actually customize this whole structure to accommodate for your specific research. You're in full control, you can actually make that available. Like I said, you can customize this. So for example, here we've added a website called VC Economic System Dashboard that immediately will be loaded into Teams. So Teams is here that real single plane of glass that you will have to view all the information specifically for your research. 
And finally, what I want to add to it is if you don't have the applications that you feel that you need, you can actually customize and create your own applications. Microsoft Teams has a development engineering platform as well where you can customize and create your own applications to connect to the services that you would like. So Teams here, specifically for research, provides you not just the communication and the collaboration environment, but it also allows you to extend it with the, your favorite applications. And if you have built your own applications, for example, in SharePoint Online, they can also be natively integrated into Teams. So here, Teams is really that single pane of glass, that hub for collaboration and teamwork that you will have as a researcher uh, and that you need to be more efficient as well.